Aloha, my beautiful friends. I am Krista Ralaksmi Ditten. I'm coming to you from San Diego. And congratulations, this is the eighth day of the Holistic Abundance Challenge. I'm an anthropology, um, abundance anthropologist, and I believe that each one of us is born here with a beautiful treasure box filled with our talents. And when we open up these talents and activate these talents and use these talents, we can actually activate our holistic abundance. And as we activate our holistic abundance, we can start to manifest our inner fairy tales into those realistic dreams on your terms. So this has been my adventure for the past 20 years. And um, it has been really amazing. And I am here today to share with you some of the stories and some of the tools and tips um, from my life. And um, hope that this will be inspiration for you. So today's topic is um, abundance wheel introduction and how this is connected to inner family and how it's all connected to abundance. Um, it's going to be um, really exciting. So if you are here and, uh, uh, you know, listening to this live, uh, put your name and aloha um, where you're from. Uh, listening today would be really, really nice um, to hear um, what's going on. So um, some years ago when I started to really uh, work closer individually with people, I would say most of the people when they came to me, um, they said that, uh, you know, Crystal, my issue is I don't have enough money. And then every time we looked into that, it was never about the money. It oftentimes was, oftentimes was, you know, co connected to sexuality or, you know, uh, uh, relationships or health mission or, you know, talents and life mission. And then abundance is the result or the, you know, um, the sum of all of these different uh, uh, things. So um, I'll just bring you one example. So I had a lady coming to me who had some issues in her relationship and marriage. So of course her sexuality um, was completely blocked. Uh, she didn't even think about sex. She was so worried and she didn't know what to do and she got into really deep depression she didn't want to even live anymore and because she was in such a bad emotional state and uh, mental state she actually you know her health uh, started to go worse and worse and she at some point uh, she couldn't even work anymore so what happened was uh, also because she couldn't work anymore so no money was coming in because she didn't have any passive income uh, stream going on the side you know so literally um, I noticed that the same scenario happened to so many people not only in Estonia but all over the world wherever I worked with people so I started to observe and put it together into a system which I call abundance wheel so now I will show you how that looks and some of you maybe have seen it before. So here we have uh, relationships. The first one is actually sexuality, relationships, health. Um, then we have life mission, um, career, talents, and then abundance. And the way it works is basically it should go like, you know, clockwise. And if one is blocked, like in her case, relationship was blocked, then nothing was going because already here in the beginning there was a block you know so um, I started to work deeper on each um, of these areas and also look into like okay so um, how can I really develop something also which would really help people you know so that they can you know manage these things on themselves you know so um, in 2013 with one of my uh, cooperation partners at the time we actually started to do an online class where she was kind of uh, contributing with like business and how to start the business and online stuff and so on and I was um, uh, you know offering all the spiritual kind of advice and tools and tips so uh, we put it together and it was uh, quite a success but then um, we uh, uh, went apart with that cooperation partner. So I started to um, kind of uh, revamp the whole program. And right now it's basically developed into an eight months class called um, uh, your 
I, I have to think now because it's in Estonian, <laughs> your abundance adventure, um, uh, yeah, hülluses, eiklus, koolitus, unistustel, your, yeah, your abundance adventure into, um, into your dream life, um, kind of like that. So, so that was uh, really amazing. So within two years, I went through with six uh, groups and I learned a lot. And of course, the people learned a lot. And uh, what came out was basically that, um, you know, you in order for you to really have an abundant life, you know, you have to activate all of these corners. So, so if you are here, I would like to hear from you, you know, what is abundance for you? Because abundance is not only money, it can be, you know, everything. How would you say that you live an abundant life? So what is it for you? So you could share in the comments would be really nice. So um, and then as we were going through this uh, class, I realized also um, I was working very closely uh, with them individually as well in a group. And I realized so many more things and I realized that this relationship thing um, is actually the relationship corner is one of the core corners. And then I realized that, wow, I could build, you know, the inner family program, which is working with the, you know, the relationship on uh, and with yourself so that this would put like a foundation for the rest of it. And uh, now I actually have built it this way that you actually start with the inner family program and then you jump into the inner family program is four months, which is like prerequisite to go into the deeper um, eight, eight months class. Uh, in English, we have um, a little different program right now because uh, we haven't managed to uh, set it up all in English yet, but in Estonian people can actually buy it um, already. The eight months program is all there, materials, videos, everything, and you can go through it individually or also add like, you know, uh, my coaching to it with me. So um, lots of options. So working now with this um, relationships uh, seem to be one of the core you know uh, corners in this uh, abundance wheel and then the second one i noticed was the talents and life mission because oftentimes also the old time was kind of saying you know um, you are just born here if you find like uh, one talent like you are a piano player that's you, who you're going to become and that's you who you're going to die as, you know. And in the new energy now, if you want to survive, not only survive, but if you want to thrive, you have to actually uh, figure out many talents. So even if I take myself right now, you know, I'm producing this video. I had a, a little script prepared. So I go through this, you know, I do this video later. I, you know, upload it to YouTube. Then I write the little blog. Um, so I'm a writer. I'm a, you know, a producer. Um, and then I put it all together. So there are so many different, um, uh, you know, talents activated. Then I have to do the banner, you know, so I have to be a visual graphic designer as well. And then I have to see that it all kind of works together. Then I have to do the PDF, you know, for the task and stuff. So uh, it involves so many different kind of, you know, uh, talents. And then uh, it's not enough. Then I have to share and distribute it to many. So I have to do a little bit of marketing, you know, uh, so that this good stuff gets out there to the world. So just doing this one video, I'm activating maybe five to six different kind of uh, talents I have. So if you want to survive and thrive in this new area, this is basically what all of us have to learn. And uh, depending on like what your talents are and how you are doing your things, this is how this will go. You have to just kind of uh, figure it out. And um, if you get more and more in abundance, then of course you can also hire more people to do all these things. So maybe you just are the person who is producing the video and the rest of the back office stuff is done by other people. So, so um, these things are really interesting how they're changing nowadays. But the thing is to find out what your life mission is so crucial because the new generation, maybe you have noticed, 
the new generation, they don't want to just work from eight to five just to get money and pay bills. They want their work to have a meaning. They want this to be exciting. They want this to be, you know, amazing. All of these things, they want to have a really cool and fun, you know, workplace to go to and all of those things. It not, it's not just a desk, you know, anymore. So, and now if you are working from eight to five and you have a boring job, but you, it, it maybe pays pretty good, then I'll tell you, if you start to do what your life mission is and connect it to your self-value properly, then it will multiply 10 times, uh, 20 times, 100 times, 1000 times. It's just all about how you put it together and how you find the different channels uh, for those. So, um, so that's how it's so important to work with um, the relationship and then the life mission uh, se uh, section. So I see who is here today. Uh, Pirat is here and Kredi uh, Thunder is here. Aloha, very nice to have you here too. So um, your homework to today is basically that uh, first you will do, I will have a little graphic uh, part in the, on the website where you can see uh, how this looks like. And then you can do a little, you know, mapping. Uh, where in your life, which of those uh, areas is actually really, you know, uh, needs attention. Maybe you have two, uh, but I would like you to actually uh, pick one and then uh, what you can do to really start to work with it. So, for example, if your relationships are really messed up, uh, you know, with yourself or anyone outside of you. So um, then maybe the inner family program is exactly for you right now. So. Uh, if you want to work more with abundance, um, I can also put a little link to our infinite activation program where we talk about abundance. So uh, maybe this is something which can help you going. Uh, we also have translated actually some of the many magnets into English. So this can be also a little nice thing uh, to start with, you know. And now I'll do a very short um, uh, also kind of uh, how this is connected now to the inner family, this uh, abundance wheel. So um, when we think of sexuality, so basically if you want to manifest something in this life, you always have to have the masculine and feminine and they together can, you know, uh, through that sexual life force actually create, you know, this is how your inner man and inner woman actually creating your inner child. So, um, here in a child is the core person here and all the sexual wounds you have got in your life are actually connected here and as you see it's like the central point here so if you have been abused sexually or anyways like i was as a as a child you have to work through this and uh, really heal that wound because otherwise it will influence all the other areas around here so as um even in my life, it took like 15, 20 years to work through this. It's like crazy. And that's why I have this crazy idea that uh, we should actually start in the kindergarten to teach kids how to say no. Because if I would have known, you know, how to say no, it wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have had that drama, you know. So and uh, now when we go to relationships, uh, this is connected to uh, mainly to your inner woman because inner woman is all about relating relationships um, and, uh, you know, creating those two way streets relationships, what's working, what's not working, what's really valuable, what's not valuable. So it's really important that you kind of check um, these things out. And um, um, when this is flowing uh, and your inner woman is happy, everything else will start to flow much better too. So health is mostly the inner man section because health is connected to physical and um, also, of course, mental, but uh, physical most of all because this is your body temple. So how you kind of uh, hold it together, how it's all kind of hanging together and so on. So um, this is very important that you get your health, you know, kind of check, uh, do I eat healthy? Do I sleep, you know, enough? Do I train enough? Do I, you know, rest enough? All of those things, because once we stop taking care of ourselves, these are the first things which go out of the window. So um, if you want to really manifest speed, you have to have a good health and good, you know, um, 
body so that you can serve more people that's very very crucial not to kind of you know uh, slack here you know and as you know um, there is a saying um, a sick person has only one wish and that wish is to be healthy so this is our biggest treasure so to say and um, uh, next is life mission which is basically where all the family members come together in a child comes with creativity playfulness in a woman gives intuition ideas how and what to do and then in a man will kind of formulate and uh, bring it to this world so need structures and systems and schedule and all of these things to make it happen and then of course abundance here everyone is connected as well so that they can um, you know uh, first also help to produce it but then also to enjoy the you know fruits which come out of all of this you know so um, it looks very simple and very easy so that's why I love uh, new time tools and tips which have been coming to me over the years and working with so many people in so many countries as well so there is something global, universal in those, you know, um, topics and themes. And uh, if you put these to work, they really work, you know. Um, in this program, when we did this eight-month program with uh, six different groups in Estonia within the two last years, I noticed that many people, of course, they got better relationship with themselves. They were much uh, more confident, much more aware what's going on. The many people who actually stopped and uh, quit and broke up with people who were not good for them anymore. Many people actually um, received beautiful new um, relationships, their kings or queens. Um, some of them are actually uh, already also married, um, which is really amazing to be part of that, you know, uh, as well. And health-wise, um, many people have also made changes there. Uh, have lost weight, have um, understood what needs to be changed, you know, uh, sexuality as well, kind of uh, reconnect with their sexuality and uh, all of those things and enjoy it much more, uh, heal it much more. Um, and life mission, of course, um, you know, uh, do more, figure out more what is it you are here for. Many people also started businesses, my sister included. Uh, she started a cleaning business, which is so popular, she has no more slots available. It's expanding so fast that she can't keep up it with, with it, you know, which is really amazing. And uh, some other people who started, um, if not the new job, then they started, you know, they made changes in their job, which they currently have, which gave them more, you know, quality. I know many people who have their own business who made, you know, uh, changes about their time management because it uh, needed to be done in order for them to give more, you know, uh, quality of life. And then, of course, as a result of that, more abundance on every level. So some people also received brand new cars. I was one of them within that time. Uh, some people also uh, won lottery. Some people also... Uh, got some uh, other type of abundance coming into their life. Uh, my sister also actually was able to sell his uh, her old apartment, which had been on the market for like two years. Within that course and class, she figured out how to do it within a week. So it was gone and she was done with it. She also sold her uh, old car and got the new car. And she also um, actually bought a new house. So, so all of these things, like, you know, um, it's necessary things to function here. And of course now, because uh, she is living in a house and she has a life more on her terms, what I started with, everything in her life is different and she's much uh, happier person in so many ways and there are so many other stories like that it's like amazing uh, what can happen when you start to work with yourself so um, I will put into um, uh, the areas of all the stuff also the link to the inner family uh, introduction so when you go to that link there is actually a one hour video introduction in English to all of the inner family members, the inner child, inner woman, inner man. If you go through this and you feel like, wow, Crystal is a person to work with me um, and I really love this topic and I think I really need it now, 
and then let me know and we will take it from there because in February I start with a new group of 20 people in English and it's $250 per month for four months and we will go through all your inner family and rebuild and uh, restructure your relationship with yourself and with your inner family and because of that also with the rest of the outside world. So uh, just to recap um, the task, so you will map your um, abundance wheel, uh, which area needs a little more attention. Then you take one uh, corner out, which is the most crucial and kind of write down uh, what can you change there. And uh, then you will also uh, figure out uh, how is the communication and connection with the inner family and abundance and uh, what needs to change there. So you look through, okay, in relationships, my inner woman really needs more attention. I need to take better care of her. Uh, she needs to set more boundaries. She needs to be more clear. Uh, in my life mission, I need to really change my situation with my job. I have to do it smarter. I have to figure out how I can have more time to do my things or projects. So maybe you can, um, you know, uh, do your regular job for like um, part time and then part time you start with your projects, you know. Um, so there's so many possibilities. It's like until you will step on board, like, yes, I will create my dream. I will create my dream life until then nothing really uh, changes and happens. So I hope this was a value for you. And I um, uh, really, really would appreciate if you would also share this video on your Facebook timeline uh, with some friends who you feel that this can be uh, very crucially inspirational for them or motivational. Um, and also someone who would maybe need this, um, what I have to offer. So it would be really cool. Um, put the like, uh, share it, and uh, invite more people for the lives for the rest of the month. It's the most fun if you can be here, ask questions, comment. Um, I really like a two-way street, so don't be shy. Um, if you want to talk about something more personal, you can send me a personal message on Messenger and uh, we can look into that as well. So thank you so much. Uh, mahalo. Uh, may your day be amazing or evening, wherever you are. And uh, tomorrow I will talk about uh, sexuality, uh, Tantra, new time relationships and uh, how this is important in the abundance wheel and how this is also connected to abundance, of course. So uh, may you be well. May Aloha always be with you. Thank you so much and see you tomorrow. Mahalo.